my sister Sassy Snacks in order to bring awareness to the early signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. If you are suffering from any type of stomach issues, visit sassysnacks.com and go through the list of the early signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Today, we are going to do a craft video. I wanted to do something very relaxing and something that reminded me of Sassy. So, I've decided to do a color book video. I wanted to share these books with you. They all belonged to Sassy and um, I just need to decide which one I'm going to use to color today. So I have cats. I 
should do something with that. So, this is a requested video. Somebody asked me if I could color um, a book and Sassy has quite a few. So, I figured I would just uh, color one of hers. Um, I've done another one in here. Oh, I did this one. That was fun. Um, I'm looking to see if Sassy did one in here. I can't remember. I thought she did, but I don't see one. It's too bad. So, um, another gentleman, young gentleman by the name of Noah, he requested a video as well, and um, that was right before I was going to Tennessee last week, and I promised him that I would do it, but um, I haven't had a chance, so Noah, please accept my apologies. I will uh, get that video done ASAP, I think. Oops, darn it. I went outside the line. I think um, the next one for sure. I might even film it this week. I just won't. I just won't um, release it for a couple of weeks. So, so yeah, I went to visit a friend of mine in Tennessee, and I was gone for like five days. So we um, we had a good time. And I missed my dogs, and they missed me because the last couple days they have been all over me. I'm surprised they're not. I'm surprised they're not over here now, but um, they're not. And I posted a couple of photos. Well, maybe one on Instagram of little Scouty Scout. Uh, laying on my head or with his chin on my head and that's why I did it was because um, he missed me and so every time I sit down for a couple of seconds he is all over me I'm gonna keep coloring and we'll go from there I finally did my own nails you guys I know it's a miracle and um I just wanted to say that if they look like crap, that's why. And, um, what else can we talk about? So, for those of you um, who are new to the channel, um, my sister Sassy Snacks passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2019 you can still see her videos at sassysnacks.com and sassy crafts ASMR and she was definitely one of the pioneers of ASMR for those of you who didn't know she was one of the first ones that started making um, ASMR videos and posting them regularly on the channel on YouTube. And then she moved to Georgia to be close to me because we did like everything together. Not everything, but we traveled together a lot, and we wanted to be able to um, leave from Atlanta together. The last time we traveled together, we went to Scotland, and I left from Atlanta, and she left from Los Angeles, and it worked out okay, but it's just a lot easier when you're both leaving from the same place. So... 
that. Anyway, as soon as she moved to Georgia, we found out that she had pancreatic cancer and um, she passed away five months later. So I tell you guys about the website because I want you to go there. If you know anybody who has any issues with, um, if you know anybody who's having any stomach issues, anything, it could be GERD, it could be uh, acid reflux, it could be uh, irregular or unusual bowel movements, it could be, I know this is kind of not dinner talk, so I hope you're not eating dinner. But, um, if you're having any kind of GI issues, please, please, please check out the website and just go down the list of early signs and symptoms. Um, somebody contacted me recently on Instagram. I believe her name was Jasmine. And she asked me about some of the symptoms and that she's been having problems. So I told her uh, what to do and basically guys, listen up because this is important. Right now, in this world, CT scan with oral and IV contrast is how they found the cancer. She had had all kinds of other tests, like an endoscopy, and um, they checked her blood work, and her blood work uh, came back normal all the time. And it wasn't until it was in her liver that it had metastasized to her liver that it, um, it showed up as cancer and by that time guys you know it's it was too far gone and it was a tragedy because we all lost a good person and we lost our brother only a few months before six within six months before sassy died so it was very tragic to lose Sassy as well. Okay, so I just finished all of the purple paws on the royal robe. So any guy, anyway guys, the point I was getting at was that, you know, I mean, to this day, I still have people making comments on her channel saying that we made this up, that we made up the story about her getting sick and passing away, and, um, you know, I just want to say that if that's you, and I know, I know who it is because I deleted your stupid comment, um, shame on you. Do a little research before you make silly comments like that. Unbelievable. Oh man, there's so many ways to go with this, with all these colors that I'm gonna have trouble deciding how to, um, how to color this. Alright guys, so back to what I was saying. Um, so my sister passed away within five months of being diagnosed and part of the reason why was because with pancreatic cancer they find it too late and the reason why they find it too late is because they don't give you the right tests and the reason why they don't give you the right tests is because many of the doctors haven't even been trained to know the symptoms of pancreatic cancer and yeah I can say that because I know a doctor at least one who um, said that they did not have that training and that it was only 
mainly because of the stuff that I've been posting that they knew about pancreatic cancer and this specific doctor told me that um, they uh, had, a, had somebody come in with many of the symptoms that Sassy had and that they ordered a CT scan with oral and IV contrast and that sure enough that that person had cancer, pancreatic cancer. And that she was very grateful that um, she knew what test, but it had nothing to do with anything that she had learned in medical school. So, there you go. Medical school at its finest. Um, so, if you, like I said, if you are having any kinds of issues, you need to get it checked out. And the only, the only thing that can um, find out if you have it is the CT scan with oral and IV contrast. Um, endoscopy is not going to find it. And blood work is not going to find it. So, I've said this in a couple of other videos, but I'm saying it again because that's my mission now. Um, yeah, that same idiot that, that said my sister was not had not passed away also said that I was in this for the money. Trust me, bro. Um, it takes a lot of work to do these videos and um, it's not about that. It's about doing the right thing and the right thing is to spread the word and to tell others about the early signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. So, uh, and if you want to know the truth, why does anybody have a YouTube channel? So, it's okay for everybody else to earn some money on YouTube, but not for somebody who is trying to spread the word about an illness. You know, there are people that do good things for the right reason. I'd like to think I'm one of them. I know what my sister said. And she said to spread the word and to tell other people about this because since she died way too young. And we miss her every day every single day I cry so guys yesterday the men were making noise and I had to stop doing the video but I kept coloring because I realized I probably couldn't get this whole this whole uh, coloring thing on video and so far it's coming out. What do you think? I'm going to put the microphone closer to the colors so that you can hear the coloring going on. Hopefully this helps you to relax. I've been thinking about doing a video about um, speaking Spanish. I found a really cool Barnes and Noble, and I have it right here. And I thought about maybe doing some Spanish. I don't know. Tell me what you think. One thousand and one real life phrases and idioms. Uh, I don't plan on going snorkeling or scuba diving, but maybe some of you guys do. So I thought maybe I can do some lessons 
Oh my god, my dog is crying. Hold on. What else can we talk about? Guys, ever since I went to Tennessee, Scout does not want to be without me. It's freaking crazy. He's a... Uh, he's a little needy. So... Oh, don't I forgot. I forgot to color these down here. So guys, I use... I try to use... There, he's settling down now on... I put his little bed next to me. Yellow is not my favorite color, but... Um, I think we need to use it sometimes. So, okay, so, so far I've talked about I need to do a requested video for my buddy Noah. And this is a requested video. Guys, in case you didn't know this, I, I am not a hand model, so, sorry, and I do, um, a lot of, oops, I do a lot of knitting and crocheting and sewing, and you guys know I make jewelry, a uh, sissy snack shop on Etsy, so I, my hand, arthritis. I have some arthritis in my hand, so, um, don't get mad at me because I'm, I'm not a hand model. I'm just here to help you relax and to color and have fun and to get you guys to hopefully get to sleep. By now you should already be asleep. If I'm doing my job. Um, where else? Okay, where should I color more yellow? Oh, maybe here. I like these coloring books. I just never have time to color because um, I'm always filming or I am sewing. I made face masks for a while, but I don't know, you guys might be buying them somewhere else by now. And I made, uh, I make jewelry, so um, I'll, I'll be making more Day of the Dead jewelry in the near future, so if you didn't see something you loved on the Sissy Snacks uh, Etsy, then that's fine. Um, I'm going to be posting more stuff soon, but for those of you guys that bought some, uh, shout out to Delinda and a shout out to Victoria. Uh, you guys got the nice big purple pieces, so for those of you guys that bought some, I hope you are enjoying it. And, um, yeah, I hope you're, you're enjoying that jewelry piece. And if for some reason, you guys, it ever falls apart, and it, it shouldn't, but I've even had stuff that I made for me come loose, um, send it back and I'll fix it for you. And the other thing is, is you can have a you know, anybody who does jewelry can fix it for you. I did that before I knew how to do jewelry. I had one of my neighbors fix a necklace. And then I realized I had like 20 necklaces and stuff that needed to be fixed. I'm exaggerating. I don't even own 20 necklaces. But I realized I had a lot of jewelry that needed to be fixed. So I just, um, I learned how to do it. There is a place where I live where they teach you. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have put the yellow there. Wow. Um, there's
there's a place where I live where you can take a, a class for like 25 bucks or whatever and they um, show you how to do the jewelry repair basics so I took that class and then I was sort of addicted after that I um, I then uh, I joined Blueprint um, which is Craftsy it's very confusing I joined Blueprint and um, I learned how to do more jewelry making I also learned how to do some jewelry making on YouTube I can't say that I went to a specific channel I kind of bounced all over the place and learned just learned little bits and pieces and then I went to like a beach show in the area. Of course, this was before COVID. A terrible, terrible COVID-19. Um, so I, I went and I bought all the stuff. And so I just started making jewelry. Guys, you know, crafting is my therapy and my problem is that I can't decide which craft I like the best I like not like them all so it just depends on whatever whatever I'm in the whatever I'm in the mood for is what I do if I feel like coloring I color if I feel like painting I paint which I need to paint like I don't not a matter of want like I need to paint and then if I feel like um, sewing, I sew. As you guys know, crafts can be expensive, so I always try to save a buck. So I do a lot of shopping at um, Hobby Lobby. Yay, Hobby Lobby. They have, um, they have a lot of stuff that... Um, it goes on sale like every few weeks. So if you see something you like, you just wait until it goes on sale. And then if it's one of those things that is never going to go on sale, then you take in your coupon, you get the app, and you um, take your coupon to Hobby Lobby. I realize not all of you have access to Hobby Lobby, but... Um, if you do, it's a good place to, it's a good place to buy, um, crafts, craft supplies. So I picked out this green. I don't color very good. I don't know if you notice that. one color of orange, one color of purple, even though I did two colors. 
colors here. I did a lavender and a purple, and then, um, yeah, so then I just used the same pencils over and over again. I don't know. Maybe that works. Maybe that doesn't. Maybe that's a stupid thing to do. It is relaxing, but guess what? 
I have a timer right now on because I'm making some pinto beans. And once I am done, once I'm done with the beans, um, I gotta go outside and work out. Guys, your health is very important, so it's good to relax, but, um, I know you already know this, but exercise does something to your endorphins, and it, uh, keeps you from being depressed, so if you are a person who suffers with depression, exercise, even if it's just walking, is a good idea. Um, and I say just walking, but if you walk a couple miles a day, it's a good idea. Um, I just took my dogs out for a walk, and Mr. Darcy is a little on the chunky side. So I made him walk today, and he actually, he enjoyed it. He loves, loves, loves to walk. Um, I often think about Sassy and how she never got to take him for a walk. And I wish, and I think she would have, I think she would have been out walking with him every day that she was off of work. Maybe even in the early evenings. But we'll never know. But that's why it's important, you guys, to um, take care of your health and, you know, stay on those doctors because they're busy. And you, to many of them, you're just another number. You're just another source of income. So, you have to stay on them and make sure that they take care of you as they should. Okay guys, I had to do some coloring off of the record because um, my family makes too much noise, so I'm blaming it on them. So I am going to continue coloring and you guys just sit back and relax. <sighs> I just messed that up. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, I don't like that at all. Oh well. I think what I'll do is I'll make this dark. And I'll leave the inside one a little lighter. Guys, I just filmed a requested video about Burger King spicy chicken sandwich and it was a good sandwich. I'll do it like this. Oh, that makes me mad. I wasn't paying attention. And um, anyway, it was a really good sandwich for fast food. And I'm a little mad right now because it's Friday and I can hear somebody doing yard work. Sorry about that if that bothers you guys. If it doesn't, then, um, good. If you do coloring at home to relax, let me know. Because it's all kind of like therapy for me. 
um, and I need a lot of therapy. I don't know about you guys, but you know, it's just how I relax. I know some of you are saying you are not a relaxed person, and I'm not. Like, I really, really have to focus on bringing things down a couple notches because I'm like, I bounce off the walls. My friends that I hang out with say that I have adult ADHD, which could be true. My sister Sassy used to get mad at me because I did not, I did not slow down for much. She said I didn't take my time, and she's probably right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do these, I gotta do these yellow down here. But when in my um, life and in my career field, uh, things always needed to be done promptly and with a sense of urgency, so it is very difficult for me to slow down. So I do have to do things like um, sew and knit and uh, whatever, whatever hobbies. I also like, I, well, I'm, I've been teaching myself how to paint, but I'm not very good at it. And draw, I need to do those things to just kind of make myself relax. Guys, I... If I'm watching a movie at night, um, I'm knitting or I am, I'm never just, I can't, can't just sit down and watch a movie like I have to be doing something else. I have to be doing something else like with my hands or, um, it's just bad. It's a bad habit. But, what are you gonna do? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what color to put here. I have yellow and purple, which is, I, I colored terrible here. Uh, and then this is blue. So I don't wanna put blue. Green, I guess it can only be green. Guys, you gotta chew up a lot of the pencil to get the tip sharp, so... I don't know how long this pencil set is gonna last. Normally, I, I don't do a lot of coloring. Like, this is not... This is not my thing. Um, but for some people, it's fun, and for some people, it's relaxing to watch, so... Um, I like to do it, I just, I also like to do a million other things, so I can't, um, I can't find the time. I like to make these videos so you guys can relax and get to sleep and de-stress. It is the end of August right now. Twenty twenty, we need it to be behind us. Start with a fresh year, you guys. Every year has been rough for me, I'm not gonna lie. Twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen were terrible on a personal level, but this year has been bad for everybody. I'm a horrible, horrible coloring person. I don't have a lot of patience, you guys. I'm a zip zap, zippity doo, let's do it now. I don't like to wait.
wait. I mean, there are times and places when you, you know, when you have to wait, but if I had my choice, I wouldn't wait for anything. I think you guys can post some artwork on the comments. I don't know. I think you can. So, if you have any cool artwork to share, uh, please do. Oh yeah, somebody out there did a little um, uh, sketch of me. I forgot what it's called. Uh, shoot. Anime. It's pretty cute. So, thank you. I'm sorry, don't remember the name. If I, if I find it, I'll put it in the comments or I'll put the link. Um, but uh, it came out really pretty cute. This is some big decision-making stuff right here. Big decisions to be made. Oh, gosh, if this was all the decisions I had to make, guys, um, life would be easy. What color am I going to put next? Oh, this is pink. I thought it was orange. What a douche. Okay, I'm gonna take a break on the video, guys. I'm gonna do a little more coloring and then I'll come back. Okay, guys, I am just about to wrap up this video with uh, the last bits of color. It's not my best work. I'm going to have to admit that, but... Um, I got it done and it doesn't matter because the whole point is if it helped you to relax and I hope that it did I don't know. and I hope that it did almost done guys so again don't forget to tell me what you guys do to relax and uh, should not have put that there and um yeah just what it is that you guys do to to chill out in the evenings or whenever it is whatever it is that if you work nights, you might need to chill out in the mornings or whatever. Um, I'm sure I missed something here. Okay, uh, this is where I start to tell you guys, don't forget to visit sassysnacks.com if I haven't said that like 800 times already. And remember that these videos support sassysnacks.com. So if you, um, just by watching this channel, you are helping people to learn more about pancreatic cancer. And you are also uh, helping my website to um, bring awareness to people around the world. So I hope you will continue to watch this channel. Oh, that's the wrong color. So I hope you will continue to watch this channel and just enjoy. That's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. And if you have any requests, um, I'm still working on a few different ones, but I was able to do to this week now that my son is back in school so I hope that makes you guys happy and that um, everybody's doing well and everybody's staying healthy and safe don't forget you guys that you can um, talk to me on Instagram I'll post my Instagram information and you can ask me any questions about anything. Is that upside down? I think it is. Let me try to switch it. There you have it, guys. My relaxation masterpiece. It took me three days to accomplish, but 
it was fun and it was fun doing it with you this is the book that I used and it is all in memory of sassy snacks I am not a cat person I don't dislike cats but I prefer dogs and I did this in memory of sassy snacks so Take care, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.